Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Mulberry Christian Radio. I'm your host, Abel, and I'd like to welcome you uh, to the show this evening. I want to start off by uh, letting everyone know that tomorrow, the Mulberry Charter Review Committee will be uh, meeting at 4.30 uh, in the City Commission's office. This will be just before the 6 o'clock regular City Commission meeting. They've been going over, the Charter Commission has been going over several recommendations uh, to bring up to the City uh, Commission and they will be doing that tomorrow at 4.30 and at 6 o'clock they will have their regular Tuesday meeting. Also on uh, the 17th which is Wednesday Senator Denise Grimsley uh, staff will be at the Civic Center from 9 to 10 p.m. to uh, meet the constituents and go over any particular questions or concerns or comments that uh, the people may have. That'll be at the Mulberry uh, Library which is right downstairs from uh, the Civic Center and that will be held from 9 to 10 p.m. On January uh, 18th at the library they will be having a beginner's genealogy class from 2 to 4 p.m. It's for adults only. And also they have it on the 25th uh, a teen time with a movie and make your own popcorn. And that will be at 2.30 and it's only for teens. The Lakeland Electric Free Customer Appreciation Night at the Florida Tropics will be uh, this coming uh, Saturday at 7.30. And uh, to show their appreciation, uh, Lakeland Electric is giving back to the community on this free customer appreciation night at the Florida Tropics what they're doing is uh, all you have to do is bring a copy of your utility bill either paper or electronic to the IP funding center at the box office where you can receive four free tickets for entry or you can log on to fltropics.com forward slash Lakeland Electric. That's fltropics.com forward slash Lakeland Electric. The first 100 customers to arrive at the game will receive a free Team Spirit gift. So mark your calendars for the January 20th. And thank you, Lakeland, for being a great place to work and live. We'll see you at the game. And a more serious note, uh, a 69-year-old man was shot in the leg, severely beaten and robbed uh, Monday, while he uh, and an uh, 88-year-old uh, female companion were on their usual early morning walk on South Florida, South Floral Avenue, across from the main offices of the Polk County School Board. The 88-year-old uh, woman was not injured. Police received uh, a call at uh, approximately 5.30 reporting a shooting in the 1900 block 
of South Flowell Avenue. A recent model white ve uh, vehicle pulled into the grass near the pair who had been walking on the sidewalk and three men got out, one carrying a silver semi-automatic pistol. Uh, the man with the gun pointed at the two and demanded their property. The woman told them that she did not have anything on her, just their cane, so they left her alone. She was not hurt. But the 69-year-old man was attacked. They hit him in the face, causing bone fractures, minor injuries. And while the man was down, he was shot once in the leg. The robbers took his cell phone and a handgun that he had been carrying. The area is a semi-residential uh, area with the school board offices, a civic center, a park, and a school, as well as homes. The description of the suspects is uh, vague. Uh, only three black men between ages 20 and 30 driving a late model white vehicle, possibly with four doors. Anyone with uh, information about the crime or about the identity of the perpetrators is asked to call uh, Detective Griffin at 863-534-5043 or to remain anonymous to call Hotland Crime Stoppers at 800-266-8477. I'll repeat those numbers uh, to get a hold of Detective Griffin, 863-534-5043. And if you want to remain anonymous, the number again for the Hotline Crime Stoppers uh, is 800-266-8477. And moving on to uh, other news, as you know, uh, January is uh, move over month, and the Florida Department of Highway Safety uh, wants everyone to know that uh, the move over law, that if you're on a multi-lane roadway, you have to vacate the lane closest to the stationary emergency vehicle, sanitation vehicle, utility service vehicle, road ranger, or wrecker, and always signal the intention to change lanes. You need to slow down to a speed of 20 miles per hour below the posted speed limit if a driver cannot move over safely. Be prepared to allow those who are attempting to move over into the next lane. If you're on a two-lane roadway, slow down to a speed of 20 miles an hour below the posted speed limit. Travel at 5 miles an hour if the speed limit is 20 miles or less. Walt Disney World is offering a January promotion again for Florida residents to buy multi-day tickets. The Florida resident Discovery Dis Disney Special is a three-day ticket for $159 plus tax of a four-day ticket for $179 plus tax. The Orlando Sentinel reports that it's a 14% increase from the previous January office in 2017 and 2016 when a three-day ticket cost $139 for Florida residents. However, Disney says there were no blockout dates this year. Proof of Florida residency is required. Tickets are valid for one park, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, or Animal Kingdom. 
per day unless the tickets are upgraded to park hoppers, which costs an additional $30 plus tax on the three day ticket and $37.50 on a four day ticket. And moving on to uh, religious news, for the 16th year in a row, North Korea tops the list of 50 countries ranked for the worst persecution of Christians in the world, according to the Christian watchdog organization Open Doors USA. A close second is Afghanistan, which jumped up one place since last year's ranking. With the exception of North Korea, all countries that cracked the top 50, I mean, excuse me, the top 10, are predominantly Muslim, and most are in the Middle East and Africa. Donald uh, Trump is, designates 55 million to help Christians and religious minorities rebuild in Iraq. In the wake of Vice President Mike Pence's announcement last October that the United States government would provide direct aid to persecuted Iraq Christians struggling to rebuild following the liberation of the Nineveh Plains, the Trump administration has taken concrete steps to follow through, follow through on its promise. Trump's administration announced that it has renegotiated an agreement with the UN to ensure the vulnerable Christians and other religious minorities victimized by the Islamic State in Iraq will get the UN assistance they were previously denied. The administration has also announced that it's accepting proposals by private organizations on the ground in Iraq to receive direct assistance from the U.S. government to rebuild the ancestral homelands of Christians and other minorities destroyed by the jihadi debt cult. Storm Weary the Southern Shine State has been hit hard by hurricanes in recent years, and residents have paid the price in damaged property and disruption of power. About 15 million Floridians, three out of four residents, lost power during Hurricane Irma. Now three of the state's largest investor-owned utility companies are seeking permission from the Florida Public Service Commission to impose a surcharge on the ratepayers to cover the cost of repairs from that storm. The proposed increase could include as much as $1.3 billion for Florida Power and Light Incorporated alone. The AARP of Florida is raising a red flag about the proposal. Many Floridians already pay three to four dollars a month for a storm hardening to make utilities more resilient. And uh, AARP advocates want to know first if the money is being put to good use. That's a good question. And on a separate subject, about uh, annoying robocalls. They're becoming a frequent annoyance. They seem to call and call and call. You try to block the number, but they still keep calling. So what can you do? As of November 16th of 2017, the FCC approved new rules to block robocalls, which include permitting telephone carriers to block robocalls that appear to be fraudulent. Specific calls using caller ID spoofing. Telephone carriers do not need approval from the caller or those receiving the calls prior to blocking. 